Okay, y'all. So, I'm going to, like, punch y'all in. <laughs> I was looking at people, like, rapping and stuff. They say they punch in they, like, lyrics and stuff. Either way, this is a punch in clip of today's day. Because today, I didn't really start blogging for the day. I was, like, in my emotions and shit. But, um, just a second ago, not even a good second, y'all. Probably, like, however minutes. It doesn't matter. Why am I even saying, like, it doesn't matter. Like, see, that's one of them mental problems I got. But anyways, I had done took this truck. Y'all know I took the truck over there to get fixed. And why, um, why the motherfucking, why I'm finna say, yeah, why I don't motherfucking thought these people done stole my damn wallet. I said, oh my, the truck is weird. But oh, <laughs> I said, oh my, no, they not gonna try me like that. I don't know who they thought, but it, it's not me. It's not this. It's not that. It's not gonna be none of that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hold on. I had to really like collect Mr. First of all, I put, you know, go back. I was feeling sad this morning. I was posting pictures of my daddy, and I was like, that's my motherfucking daddy, bitch. Oh, yeah, fuck. That's my daddy. Like, I don't go fuck. <laughs> I really don't know how to explain all the emotions into one like sentence into one conversation. How to put it? It's just the fact of it's too much, y'all. It's too much. I be trying to do my best at everything. I be trying to avoid shit you don't supposed to be trying to avoid. It's learning lessons. You feel me? But I'm over there trying to like be so perfect. Be have all my shit together definitely stability definitely mentally stability but that's like the last on the list because all the other stuff i'm trying to make sure come first but with my mental stability being the last on my list it made me realize like oh shit this still one big part that i always said i don't never want to make a mistake that's uh, like as a parent growing with kids or whatever because i'm still getting older and i don't want to turn around 50 years old like oh my god my time has went by in the moments when i was in my youth and my good type of stuff bitch i could have been like real deal making sure everything was okay with my kids and they mental stability you feel me and no i cannot fix everything that's my problem trying to fix everything trying to and some things don't need to be fixed because it's not even broken. You feel me? Like, that's my judgmental ass always thinking something needs to be altered in some type of way. Like, things could be better. Things need this, need this. Some things don't need shit. Bitch don't even need your ass even worrying about it. Like, oh, being aware to that shit. Like, how did you was even aware to that girl teeth space and not and black between the gums and all that other shit like that? You know what I'm saying? That shit don't need no awareness to it. That's your stupid ass putting all that type of attention and energy and thoughts and effort into the shit. You know what I'm saying? That type of stuff, I be like, I'm way too invested. I'm way too invested. That's how I love my person look, what they got, what they doing, how all the other stuff you work. Motherfuckers will get your shit together. So y'all get my shit together, bitch, I get my mind together. And then my mind say, uh, this what you forgot. You forgot me, bitch. And I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, this is 20. Yeah, I'm school zone, school zone. So then I say, then I say, Okay, well, I fucked up. I don't motherfucking fucked up. I didn't go grab all my kids and just hold them. Like, my kids that I actually birthed. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to acknowledge the fact of I have six kids. Okay? And all of them need to be treated the same. I want all of them to be treated the same. Nobody's special than the other and no type of sort in that way. You know what I'm saying? Because all y'all going to be brothers and sisters. Don't matter if I birth you if I birth you or didn't but um the, the point is the fact that I did birth you I know I probably gave you some of these these stuff I'm going through god damn what is it I don't even know these traits these motherfucking generational curses I don't know what the fuck you want to call it but either way it's like yo my kids probably got that from me and if i was sitting there like that 
individual child. Like, oh, girl, I ain't going 20. I'm supposed to be going 20. I'm up here going 35, Lord. If we still have schools on, it's not a schools on the most. Oh, now the schools on again. It's like in one school's on, then another one come. What is going on? I don't even know if I'm in it or not. I'm still going like 30. 25, 30, yeah. Y'all kind of little lines in between. But what I was to tell y'all is the fact that my kids probably got them traits from me and they might be dealing with that type of stuff in life. And if it's a day that come where I pass away, if it's a day, though, it's going to be a day. Be dull. You know, everybody died, but everybody don't live. Thank you, Lord. Amen. But anyways, that's my girl. He can't come out. <laughs> he can't come out, honey. So I can't be viewing other people's videos like that. Because between I got me Kane and the X twins, they give me life, bitch. They give me motherfucking life. When I be over here in my little depression, mind state, mental motherfucking moments. Oh, shit. This school's on. God damn, it's another one. Fuck. I'm glad I ain't no school. It's school. School the other day. Fuck, what time is it? God damn, 1.30 now. I gotta go pick up my kids. I gotta go pick up my... Why I'm thinking I ain't got no kids and I'm talking about the kids? Lord, y'all know I got a problem for real. Lord, I'm talking about the school zones. I ain't thinking about it. I gotta go pick up my damn kids from school. What the fuck? I'm not even ready. Mentally or physically. Like, I need my lip gloss. Oh, I gotta, I gotta come ass right here. I'm in the truck. I'm in the truck now. In the other truck. That we was renting is um ain't have shit in there. And I got enough. We want to go get this truck, and I'm like, damn, my looks looking dry as hell. And I drank water this morning, but my body on some retarded shit. I can't drink that much water because it feels like I'm about to drown myself. Like my organs, it can't consist of that much water. I don't know because it's almost a lot of air signs. I don't know because I got a lot of water and air signs that it's all right. But you already full of water. We don't need all this goddamn more water. Goddamn, drink some soda juice the juice is what you need bitch we need to replenish your ass i don't fucking know but anyway my kids might have these traits that i got with these little can't stay focused can't well i can't stay focused you know what i'm saying it's just the little moments that i slip off you know what i'm saying but you see i get back on track like shit but the little moments count you know what i'm saying and then the fact of what i put my mind to like if I'm how I'm thinking about stuff. If I'm thinking about it like, oh my God, we was always poor because I wanted motherfucking Jordan shoes that match my Jordan outfit. And bitch, my hair done, nails done, and toes done when they come out in tennis shoes. Then I feel good and know that everything great and with my life, my mom and dad is doing what needs to be done. But the fact of I only got a house, lights on, a comfortable bed, a TV and a watch that's a raven. It's just not enough. I'm in distress and I don't want my kids going through that. You know what I'm saying? They might go through that shit because I done birthed them with all them damn different traits type of shit. Like, I'm gonna get over here. Oh Lord, it's a bumpy road. And I said, they're gonna be grown one day. And I'm dead gone. And they're gonna be like, Lord, I'm crying my eyes out. I miss my mom. She was here. She had full of life. She was full of everything. Even the moment that she was pissing me off. She was getting on my nerves. I was ready to run away. I thought of a lot of different. Oh, I made sure that car wasn't getting on my ass. <laughs> but yeah, if they be sitting in that space. I wish I can just get back into that body and hold my child. Cause that be the shit I wanted from my dad. And those days is over and I know I, I'm able to move on but when I think about it when I'm, it's like I gotta cry it's tears there it's okay to cry with that shit out but then my mind my day it's so hard to like pick it back up but at the same time I can kind of like pick it back up cause I have to focus on other stuff but if I got like a little time or whatever I'm not gonna focus then I'm not gonna eat if I ain't gonna eat now I'm getting risky. I'm getting more depressed because I'm like, what the fuck? I don't, I don't supposed to look like this. I look that better. I can look better. You know, all that type of stuff right there. So all the extra words, extra thoughts, it's just something I feel like I was asking God, like, help me manage this. Help me get better with that. Help me, like, understand what it is I need to pay for to help my kids with their mental. Definitely, I was seeing my son. Kaden was just so much in his thoughts and the way I think is not the way he think so I have to keep remembering that and the fact of like what I feel like I'm helping him get through is like really like hurting this little boy like he just like his 
emotions. He don't know what to do with his emotions. He just, he a overthinker like I am, but probably worse. I don't freaking know. And it's like, I don't want him to be worse. Yeah, I don't want him to be an overthinker at all because I already know what it feels, what it, what it comes with and how you feel. But that's my son and my daughter and my other son with they attention they focus level everything i yell at them about what they doing and all that stuff is literally no nobody but me type of stuff that was what i was doing how i was doing definitely when the responsibility wasn't on me when i wasn't in that type of way of thinking when i wasn't you know caring or whatever the fuck like that so and then all that type of stuff but through all of it is like and man, all I gotta do is just hug my kids, get them a lot more hugs, showing up that love, but just like, you know, because all the other stuff I can't help them with. I'm not gonna be able to help them with. I'm not gonna be able to, you know, that's something that's only on their own terms of when they ready. When they ready, how they ready, whatever. All them little extra details, honey. Like, is unnecessary that that shit that drive me insane i don't want to drive them insane i'm gonna want them to be able to live their life for what it is and be happy within the meantime worrying and thinking about the meantime you understand know that type of stuff and still at keeping up with their responsibilities of not taking things for granted or uh you know, like the what's my call it? Because you see your responsibilities don't think somebody else gonna think for you. You know what I'm saying? You gonna take care of your own shit how you want. Either way, I just had to make this little quick video, y'all, because I really just did that shit again. Like I was like, I'm gonna get better. Fuck the shit. I'm starting now about the way I'm thinking about my daddy. Because thinking of all the sad thoughts and things that he was trying to tell me. I could have learned the took in at that time. It would have probably helped me out now, but it was nothing he could do, like to get me to understand exactly what he's saying or make me be a person that I wasn't, you know, at that time. So if I'm that person who's like always whining, crying, and crying and bitching, and you like, bro, just chill, relax, and vibe, and I'm like, I'm like and no vibe moment because I'm not doing what I want to do. I'm just vibing with what you're doing, what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because what I want to do is oh, go here, go there. And due to I can't go here, go there because I'm a kid or whatever. Whatever the reason is, it's feel like it's not about what I want to do. It's doing about what you want to do. And I'm just settling to what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's not that. That's the way I was looking at it. It's the fact of you're a kid the circumstance situations and the overall your parents know what's best for that moment so if you have the money you have the opportunity and your parents says no you shouldn't go you're not going whatever it was the simple stuff walking through the paths to get to the kin lady my dad like you ain't going through that path she i can drive you around you or whatever and I'm like, I go through the past, it's a quick walk. And you scared anything can happen in life. It's gonna make it happen in life, it's gonna happen. I was always seeing that in my dad. And he was like, girl, you ain't walking your ass up. People get raped, people getting killed, shot. You just be walking into a bully. And all that type of stuff right there. And we just wanna do what I wanna do. You know what I'm saying? So anything with my life or whatever, I just feel like I deserve it. <laughs> I definitely deserve it. Because it's like always about me. It's always about me. It's always about what I want and how, you know, whatever, whatever. So I'm getting better with the clarity of that and all that type of stuff. And I'm on my way to get these kids while running this like, Lord, it just turned red. But I was in the middle. I was in the middle. I was in the middle. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going right there. I'm turning that the light too early, y'all. Who don't get myself together? Get myself together. I got to walk up here to get these kids. I don't have the papers. It's another drug. Oh, they're gonna be so fucking.
talk about it. Oh, we understand some stupid shit. Let's still do some smart shit. I don't know. Ooh, they're doing all this retarded stuff. They doing them retarded stuff. Trying to be smart and it's retarded. Trying to be smart and it's retarded. But don't forget to like, comment, and you know, share my video. Share this video so whoever it can make their day, help them understand, whatever. I hope my kids be able to come back across this video one day and just be like, give them answers, give them closure, give them give them anything like Bonnie girl to wipe them tears Clyde same thing it's so fucking sad because it's like I'm thinking about like oh my god I'm dead and my kids watching my video oh my fucking god on your stupid ass think about shit like that stop thinking about shit like that but you're clearly alive I'm alive right now so I can't be thinking about how the fuck y'all feeling you feel me I can't think about how y'all fucking feeling I ain't gonna be able to think when I'm gone bitch I ain't thinking about that shit y'all probably in another body Y'all probably pregnant with me right now. You know what I'm saying? I go to think about that because when I learn about the spirituality, y'all should be in them picked up your daddy's stuff and keep up with what I'm saying. How the spirit move on. The spirit don't never die. This type of stuff. So whatever I'm at, you know what I'm saying? Just know I'm away from them emotions and thoughts. Them thoughts connected to that body. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Lord. Just know I can't feel that what you're feeling. But your mom, your mom will love you. I love you so much. I wouldn't say I miss you, but I, I don't know. I don't think I would have feelings or thoughts or whatever. But if I was, and if I am connected to that, you you should know I miss you. You should know I would miss you. And I'm just so happy to see how beautiful and big you guys are and whatever Pain you might be going through hospital wise anything losing one of your kids which would be my grandkids oh my fucking god you know what I'm saying hopefully I'm around all this you know what I'm saying I don't know I don't just trying to but I don't but you know I don't but you know I don't know where this just turned to because it was the video about me cussing out the damn people thinking they stole my wallet I went to questioning the damn people at, at the little lady. She was a nice looking lady too. And I'm questioning the hell out of her. I'm like, y'all, your dude, that's your dude. He walked across the street. And she like, he got a trailer. It, you know, I'm like, ah, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? Because I done been manipulative before. I 